Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're back. We are back. What I mean by that? Well, I mean back in central London, back out and about, uh, back opposite this neoclassical masterpiece. Uh, what is it? Well, folks, um, it's the modern in the fields church. Been the church here for a long time. There was original medieval Jacobean church in the 13th century. Uh, that was later deconstructed and rebuilt in this rather lovely style. Bit of a beast, isn't it? Especially those columns. It's so interesting that they get these enormous tall groups stopping here uh, to be educated uh, about the wonders of this church. Primarily famous, actually, because there were a very popular series of recordings made here uh, by the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields and Neville Mariner. More importantly, uh, today, there's something else going on. Now, what could it be, everybody? I wonder. Well, uh, there are lots and lots and lots of road closures in the centre. Uh, not because of this large tour group uh, taking over the streets, uh, as tour groups often do, uh, but because of something far more important, everybody. Could you guess what it might be? What about if I said... Uh, Xin Yen Hao or in fact for you Cantonese speakers uh, I can't remember oh yes uh, San, San Nin Hao uh, which means Happy New Year uh, in Mandarin Cantonese respectively guys I'm so sorry for my pronunciation my uh, Mandarin is below elementary I think is uh, is the right way to describe it yeah Xin Yen Hao but I'm learning and that's what matters a desire to learn so what's happening? Well, uh, they started the construction of what are going to be a series of pagodas along here. Ready for tomorrow's very, very large, and if anything can be compared to last year, uh, exceedingly popular concert. Uh, I'm being mindful of the light. It's going to flood. Here we are, it's done. Chinese Lunar New Year. I mean, yes, it's today, Year of the Dragon, ladies and gents. Uh, why am I happy? Because, hey, uh, that has a, a certain special meaning to me. One second, everyone. Hey guys, how do you say Happy New Year in um, Mandarin? Do you know how to say it? Happy New Year in, in Mandarin Chinese? Say, say again for me in the camera. <laughs> how do you say it? Ah, uh, perfect. And do you know how to say it in Cantonese as well? Or only Mandarin? Ah, uh, okay, so wait, wait, let me show you one second. So there are two different ways of saying it, I was told. Look, look at this. And what about the bottom? Is that Hu? And this one here? No? no? In Cantonese? No, no. Ah, okay. Well, hey. Sun <laughs> Yu Hong, yeah? Uh, I need to work harder. Guys, have a good day, yeah? Thank you. Folks, there we have it. Uh, obviously, they can say it a lot better than me. Why? Uh, because they're Chinese and I'm not. Uh, so I hope they have an amazing day. And I hope this enormous tour group also has uh, an amazing day. I don't know why they've stopped here, actually. It's just, it's uh, a Spanish language group, a big bashful Spanish language group, uh, which is peculiar because I would say that, from what I've seen this morning, uh, about 50% of all the people on the street uh, are Chinese. Obviously, it's you know Lunar New Year, one would expect it. Now, the good thing is that for the first time in three days, that's right, 72 hours, people, uh, it's not raining. The bad thing <laughs> is that <laughs> so it's supposedly going to start raining later on. Uh, so there we are. Enough of that. We are here for other reasons, folks. Um, which other reasons? Well, 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 well. No, we're not going into the National Gallery. I know you'd like to, everybody, and so would I. But one, you can't film inside. And secondly, they haven't even opened the gate yet and the queue is this long. This is the ticket holders queue. It's like, hold on a second, what? Look, all of these people already waiting. 
it's extraordinary isn't it so you've got the Chinese New Year stage being set up you've got tons of people there waiting you've got a Canadian takeover of London here look that's the Kai Commission folks don't worry Canadians haven't invaded yet so we are walking in fact I'm not going to cross over it's better to stay on this side views are better walking down past Trafalgar Square uh, towards a certain area where I've been told I can't guarantee everybody but I've been told that there are apparently horses and occasionally troopers on duty uh, as part of the King's Guard uh, something I've not seen myself but we're going to go and investigate today just in case it's true there's a massive amount of work going on here they're still building the stage and to be honest they've got 24 hours to finish it all which might seem a long time but it's not no it's actually not will they finish it in time i hope so they should have actually got a chinese crew to construct it why because it would have been finished ahead of time that's why a little bit of chinese efficiency in construction projects here in london that way they wouldn't overrun cost of fortune uh, and result in massive disruption far better solution close the roads fix the problem reopen the road in other words have crews working eight-hour shifts until the work gets done instead of it taking uh, eight hours until somebody actually picks up a shovel so yes here we are year of the dragon 2024 folks uh, and I'm super glad that those lovely guys were happy to help us with the pronunciation but that is going to be a big deal uh, last year I went to it I was thinking about going again guys because it's uh, not difficult for me to get a press pass but there is a problem a massive problem what's the problem you might ask well the problem is if I record it it'll be copyright struck on YouTube uh, and if I attempted to live stream it uh, that would not work either for the same reasons it didn't work last year copyright that's right yep they play lots of popular Chinese uh, songs uh, boom there goes the video and quite possibly my YouTube account, so I'd rather not risk it, is what I'm trying to say. Wait. <laughs> I'm not even sure the cyclists know where they're going. Okie dokie, folks. We are approaching Whitehall. Now, vis-a-vis -vis my timing, you know that I like to try and time these things well. However, I'm not entirely sure we would have made it this morning. Why? Well for a couple of reasons number one of course I wanted to have a little you know browse I wanted to peruse that's what I'm looking for peruse the uh, the prep work for tomorrow's event uh, they've actually opened this up in fact Monday to Friday this is closed uh, except for work traffic we are going under what is going to be the enormous new Wardorf Astoria now very 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 far in the distance so far that we probably can't even see it uh, you might spot a speck of gold Buckingham Palace folks right at the end of the Mall. so yes today I am coming in from the rear of horse carts why why not I mean it's a nice day I like nice days I like it when the light is reasonable I like it when it's not raining Unfortunately, a bit of construction noise in the background, but hey, it's not going to destroy the video entirely. And my thinking is that we might hit I'm trying to speak in between the drilling is that we might actually hit horse guards and the yard just in time to see the first horses of the weekend now my sort of uh, regimental clock is somewhat off but I instinctively seem to recall this weekend going to be a lifeguard weekend now I haven't been here for several days as a lot of you know so the only way we're going to know unequivocally uh, is when I get there and see who comes out with their horses Hell of a lot of work going on. I mean, the whole of the centre, like a construction site. 
I don't know if this is directly related to behind me or something else uh, because they've closed all of this area as well. National Police Memorial just in front. It's absolutely constant, isn't it, folks? This is why on these very rare moments, typically early in the morning, when we do come out and the roads are clear of traffic, of people, of all of this extra furniture, it's a pleasure to capture it because the majority of the time it's hidden, disguised, covered under renovation, construction, modification, whatever. It absolutely never ends. And that's the best and worst thing about living in central London, to be honest, because even where I live, there is constant construction. They finish one large renovation project, a week later they start another one. It, just, it never ends. I mean, it's really about uh, gentrification. Knock down those old buildings, build something a little bit better, a little bit more expensive, get more money for your investment. Makes sense. Okay, let's cut through. They have graciously left a little space for us. I haven't got a key, so I can't take you in there, unfortunately. See if that isn't majestic enough, as I pan the camera around. Oh golly, it's very busy over there. I really hope that uh, <laughs> the gate's not closed. Otherwise, we've got a hell of a long walk back around again. I can't think why it would be, instinctively. However, one never knows. It's just like, a, oh, it's a morning uh, running club. They've got a good route, in fact. Birdcage Walk, Horse Guards Road, Mal, Buckingham Palace, and probably up to uh, Hyde Park Corner on Wellington Arch. A lot of people arriving here now will be expecting uh, to see the morning inspection. That is not happening for another hour. And I'm actually rather happy about that. Just like I'm happy about our timing, folks. We have pretty much seven and a half to eight minutes, according to the clock above horse guards, uh, until the first horses should appear. Very surprised that so many people are trudging through here on the way to the palace, uh, completely oblivious to the fact that if they waited another five, six, seven, eight minutes, they get to see the horses and the guards really up close and personal uh, before heading along the mall. Kind of a shame, to be honest, that this place isn't more strongly emphasised in the tourist literature uh, and indeed on signage along Whitehall. I mean, it does look rather wonderful, doesn't it, on a morning like this? I don't know whether they would have even hung the signs yet um, or whether the boxes would have been open. If not, that will happen imminently. It's been a while, many weeks, since we've been here for the first horses. I think, actually, the last time was actually last year on the first day that Horse Guards reopened. I seem to remember it being around December 29th, that very early morning here. The boxes are open, yeah, the trooper in fact has just opened them up now. So our timing is somewhat fortuitous. Next up, horses. Yep. Oh, has he hung the signs? Ah! Damn it, there was me hoping to capture the signs being hung and I missed it. However, all is not lost. Why? Well, because everybody, I've got a magic word, open sesame. Open sesame is the phrase. And when you say it a third time, open sesame, guess what happens? That's right. Three times, guys, and then it, then it opens up. I'm going to go on it and I'm going to work out 
we've got a lot of new guards over here this morning as well. Look at this. GSM Stokes is here at Horse Guards this morning, everybody. Uh, with lots of new guards. Golly. This is part of the reason that we like to get up uh, super early and see things that one wouldn't ordinarily see elsewhere. Yeah, look at this. That's uh, quite a hearty group. Gathered in the corner, all new guards. Another good reason to be up early. Uh, I will leave them to it. Got oh, troopers standing to attention for GSM Stokes. Good thing to say. So, although we haven't yet got any horses, we've got lots of soldiers. Troopers taking down the train, ready for the first shitsman of today, this morning. Coming imminently, everybody. Uh, this bunch over here, this hearty bunch uh, of new recruits, will have come over from Wellington Barracks this morning across the parade ground um, if I'd been about two minutes later give or take, roughly two minutes later uh, we would have all been strolling over together so that's quite a rare pleasure uh, to see all of those new household division recruits uh, what I mean by that, uh, they're not almost certainly not going to be Blues and Royals or Lifeguards, they're going to be Grenadiers Coldstream, Scots Irish and Welsh Guards, uh, that part of the household division. Uh, I could be mistaken, but from messages I've received before, uh, I've been told that, hey, that was my son, or that was my partner, or that was a friend of mine, and he is going to be in the Coldstream Guards, based at Wellington, etc., etc. So that's my presumption, folks. That's our working presumption that the household division recruits. What about three minutes? Uh, until we hear the dingy dong noise. It's quite busy actually, already, which is surprising because there's nothing going on. <laughs> I mean, fundamentally, except an empty box. Now, the interesting thing sometimes about these empty boxes is that occasionally impatient tourists will stroll through them. Everybody's take a shortcut. They never thought about putting any gates here at the front, so everybody walks through the box. Now, will we see that? Mm. Hey, let's take a picture before the horses are, are even out, even though they're imminently going to arrive. So Im imminently, I'm going back inside the gate to wait for them. Now, I don't know if uh, the group of new recruits are going to be here to watch the first troopers coming out. Given the timing of their arrival, uh, I'd be surprised if they're not going to wait for it. Pleasure though to see GSM Stokes. We've seen him a few times, got a couple of videos. There we are folks, didn't take long did it? Here are our first arrivals via the box. Well done ladies, you are the first of the day. Get a prize for that. Not sure what the prize is, I think the prize is uh, Remnants of horse manure, that's the, uh, that's the prize. They're carrying a little bit of royalty on their shoes without even realizing it, because that is the king's manure from the king's horse. Notice one thing, everybody, when we get here early, what's missing? Yes, I know the guards are missing, I know the horses are missing, but the police are missing as well. There are no police here, why? Because there is no threat to public safety yet. So they'll be out shortly. Okay, first horse is at the gate. Here's the second horse going up to the gate. Still got a couple of minutes until they open the gates up. Everyone behind the second white line, and that, ladies and gents, includes moi. Gosh, I'm actually carrying lots of horsey poo with myself on my boots. No Gatesman yet, or Chitsman. He's not the new Gatesman, everybody. Uh, and no, before you start wondering, it's uh, it's actually not Russell Brand. Oh, bing bong. Guess my timing wasn't that bad, was it? 
few new arrivals coming in through the box. And some more. <laughs> Why not? Like I said, guys, there are no gates here. The only entry to the yard is via the horse boxes, as you can see. In fact, it's pretty chock already, look. Okay, so, first troopers of the day. Gatesman, shitsman, boxman. Here they come. They're in the corner. In fact, I'm so premature that I'm almost embarrassed. Let's hope nobody decides to walk in front of the camera. Famous last words. Oh, little adjustment of the plume. Lots of people coming in. New guards. As mentioned before, watching on from the corner. To your post, quick march. This is not a king's posse out to arrest me, everyone. Don't worry, at least yet. Into the tunnel. Why are they going in the tunnel? Well because they are the first centuries of the day. That's the first chitsman on the left. This actually is pretty mild today. Next up, first gatesman. Now there's no one to tell the tourists to make a space, so let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure they're going to get themselves out of the way. Yep. Luckily. Next up, two big fluffy monsters. Oh, I think that's Radford. I think it's Radford. He's dancing for us, look at this. Dancing Radford. With those giant clippy clop hooves. He's excited to see us, folks, that's what it is. Even GSM Stokes is like, wow, look, dancing for us, what a kind horse. I'm actually glad that uh, Radford's going in that box, to be honest. Wow, he's all over the place. Look at this. Radford is like, nope. I quit. Other horses completely relaxed, but this one. Now, the interesting thing about the trooper that's on Radford, a lot of you will recognize him as a very popular Gatesman Chitsman, but I don't ever recall seeing him as a boxman. Could be a first. Okay, so all of the, uh, the new recruits are leaving. They're heading back over to Wellington Barracks. It's quite the sight, isn't it, here this morning? Garrison Sergeant Major Stokes and lots and lots and lots of new recruits. What a sight, eh? These officers, folks, with the umbrellas. Anything missing is the bowler hat, and the only reason it's missing is that it's not really cold enough for that. 
Okay, Gatesman's in position, Schitzman's in position. Police are telling everybody to get themselves out of the way. Look, because everyone is blocking, as usual, the gates. All of these naughty people. Let's get myself way behind the bars at the front. That is how expertly I got myself out of the gates, everybody, without getting shouted at. Yes, pure luck. Wait, is this? I'm sure this is Radford. Hold on. Oh, they changed their mind already. He's off. He just came on. Now he's off. Which is curious because nothing seemed to be wrong. Got to be something with the uh, with tack. Okay, we've never seen that before. They just pulled the horse out and now they've taken it back. I'm not sure if they're going to uh, redo the tack or bring out another horse. Very curious. Now, I keep referring to this horse as being Radford, and I'm 99% certain it is Radford, but I will check the hoof number uh, in just a minute. Very distinctive uh, everything, pretty much. I mean, not least those massive fluffy socks. In fact, they're almost stockings at the back, aren't they? Socks at the front, stockings at the back. He is a very unusual, uh, glorious beast of a horse. Let me see if I can get the number from this spot. I'm not sure I can. And again, folks, notice Gatesman Chitsman typically today a boxman. Uh, I think I've got the hoof number. Let me just have a quick look on the list to be absolutely rock solid certain. Oh, don't touch the reins. Gosh, I wouldn't want to be the first person to touch his reins with this trooper on the horse. Yes, folks, it's Radford. I can confirm that from the hoof number. Damn, I'm getting pretty good at horse spotting, aren't I? She said, can I touch it? The trooper said, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you're almost the same age as my mother. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, massive flood of the first tourists arriving. Uh, Purple-haired posse in the house today. Now Radford apparently everybody doesn't like purple hair so this is going to be a problem yeah he's got an allergy to everything purple uh, that even includes quality streets with a nut in the middle now, I'm not going to move because there's no horse at the other end. Uh, when we see another horse appear, I will dash along and film it. It's been a while since in Redford actually, yeah, so I'm wondering what sort of mood he's in. This horse steps on somebody's foot. They're going to reduce it to the, uh, the thickness of a sheet of A4 paper almost instantly. <laughs> Given the weight up and those massive feet. Okay, Quality Street again, everyone. Tana, second time worked better. Huge number of people working their way along Whitehall. I think, given that most people have been trapped at home, pretty much the last two or three days because it's been raining so much, uh, today we'll see a lot of people outside. Also, the vast majority of British school children finished school yesterday for half term, uh, half term being a week holiday uh, that starts Monday. So most British school children have got at least nine days off school uh, starting this morning. This weekend, the whole week, and next weekend. Yeah, nine whole days. Most of whom will be using it for revision. Oh, Bradford's tired. He's like, ah, tired of all these tourists.
entire families look coming out joyous at the fact it's dry allay 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 in fact my picture of the family plus the horse is actually better than their picture <laughs> because we've got Bradford at a good angle radders as we're going to call them going forward that's right radders Staring the camera up massively. He seems pretty chill. I mean, there's a lot of people here, as you can see. Look, oh, she's trying to hail a taxi. The problem is, there isn't one. Pretty good numbers, actually, at this time. Look, both sides. Surprising. Okay, here's the. Oh, okay, it's not a new one. Oh. He's like, <laughs> hello to the other horse. Head to the other end quickly. Officers telling everybody to get themselves behind the bollards because the new horse is coming. And more importantly, ladies and gents, we don't know which horse it is, but we will in a moment. Why? Because I'm about to check. Okay, let's have a quick look. Find out this beauty's name. It looks to me like a very clear number on the hoof. We've seen so many times. It's Orion. So Orion this end, and Red for the other end. Is that, wait, do you, how do you know my name? You can see the horse is listening. <laughs> okay, that was pretty smooth. Now, ladies and gents, people I think will start to move forward in different ways. The thing is, I don't realistically know yet which horse is more temperamental. I don't seem to recall there being any serious issues with Orion recently. Again, he wasn't taken in because he was misbehaving or unhappy. Uh, oh. He's like, what are you talking about? You don't know exactly my state of mind. I have all kinds of mental health issues here because these toys don't keep their hands off me. They had to address something, that's why he went back. Why? Do I know that? Well, I mean, they would have replaced the horse if there were an issue with Orion. It didn't. And I see that as being a positive. Another huge positive, folks, is that because the early bird does indeed catch the worm, uh, I'm here first and there's no one else here. So whatever we do see or don't see for the moment this morning uh, will be exclusive because no one else is filming yet. They're all asleep. Joyce happy tourists. They have no clue how busy it's going to get. <laughs> and tomorrow, oh wow, tomorrow with the uh, with the Chinese New Year celebration at Trafalgar Square, this area is going to be absolutely chocker. Bearing in mind Trafalgar Square is four or five minutes walk uh, to my right. And then next week with all of the British school children being on holiday. Goodness me, yeah, we've got a busy week coming up, folks, I tell you. This is why I just spent two days in uh, in a dark room in prep. I like the light at this end so much better, the light with Radford. Not only that, how well those socks contrast against the uh, against the scarlet of the guard's cloak. This is like, yes, you're right. Well, see, I am right. Now the good news folks is that it's quarter past 10, yes 10, quarter past 10. In other words, it's so early, it's almost yesterday. Why is that good news? Because this video will take us all the way to when they close the gates for the morning inspection. Why is that good? Well, it's good because they can then potentially make a video number two. Let's see what happens. It will be very, very busy as that huge deluge of people builds up at the back when the gates are closed for the inspection. Once they heave those gates open again, whoosh, all the hungry peasant hordes are going to flood through. I might even actually uh, decide to go with them, guys, see if I can get myself a free croissant this morning, maybe a bit of cheese. 
fact that her hair is even cleaner and fluffier than Radford's. He's looking at her like, hold on a second, how did you do that? Which stylist do you use? Okay. First rounds of the day and of the weekend. frozen in admiration and respect. Right, especially at this end, the numbers of people behind me, folks, crazy already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that jogger, he just made a, a horse noise when he ran by. That was so authentically a horse-like, I thought it was the actual horse. Very impressive. Get that man a job as a voice coach on Peppa Pig. I bet he could do a mean Susie sheep with a voice like that. 100%. Okay, I'm being careful in case the guy decides to come over this way in a moment. Let's see, having a chit chat with Orion. Radford is like, I don't want to talk to the guard, I want to be left alone. Could he settle down that way? Don't want a big horse like this to be upset. Not on a sunny morning. I think, to be honest, it was probably the uh, the brightness of the light that startled him a little bit when he came out. You often see the first horse of the day being a bit cloppy when they come out of the stable. It's kind of almost, ah, I've got my sunglasses. Oh. Everybody, wait for it. <laughs> She's like, this can't get out of my picture. Saying, can I please have something other than oats for lunch? But I'm happy to have what everyone else is having for dinner. I hope that's not too much to ask. Thank you. Seems reasonable. I think that's an unreasonable request. Lady Trooper. I wasn't entirely sure for a second, but yeah, definitely Lady Trooper. I can see her hair up under the helmet. I think that's why she just fell in love with Radford. In fact, if somebody had a fetish for Radford, would that mean that they had a radish? I mean, I kind of guess it would, not it? A Radford fetish would be a radish. So many people taking so long, but everyone else is having to wait. Which is good for us, I guess, but bad for them. I've given up folks, I didn't find languages, you can hear how many are being spoken behind me. I'm 
listening intently, but I still can't quite figure it out. Listo. I just tried guys, I was really focusing on Radford's lip movements then. I'm pretty sure he said, can you get these tourists away from me? I'm pretty sure that's what he said. See look, now he stopped talking. Who's up next? Sacrifice of the weekend has arrived. Control donation for His Majesty. Bye bye. Yeah, that's a just strangler. Let's like, <laughs> strangle your mum while she's getting a picture of the horse. Oh. <laughs> uh, I loved the way that she ran over and waved at the car. That was super cute. Radders is secretly loving all the attention. Oh, look, she's like, can you not strangle me as well, like your, like your sister just did? If that horse moves quickly to the left, she's going to get squashed against the wall. Grassy ass. I don't see any grass at all on the horse's ass. Super rude, no, to call the horse that. Bro, don't touch the reins. Starting to fill out of raffles now, guys. Expect uh, some Chanel handbags to get chomped imminently. <laughs> like, I'm rather disappointed. I paid £1,200 for this room. Uh, I don't expect to open my window, the butler to serve my morning tea, and to have to endure the waft of freshly laid horse shit through the sash windows. Call the manager. I mean, to be honest, guys, I wouldn't want to run at the front. Why? Because there are so many buses and taxis and noisy traffic, as you can hear behind me. But unless those windows are uh, 
sextuple glazed, you're going to hear every single noise. Okay, that's enough Radford camera moment, uh, time for the moment. Let's head to the other end. Oh, we've got a nippy Orion. See that? He just bit the kid. He's like, you're too close. I don't remember this was being a nipper. Cashew nuts. Okay, right, so the other horse <laughs> didn't like the flavour of this sacrifice. She's just trying again. Please take my child. Kid couldn't care less. Kid's already thinking, ah, what a lovely day out in London. Fresh air. Thank you. Very trusting mum that actually she gave her camera to someone else to take a picture she's all alone with the uh with the kid brave lady This one, not a, not a nipper so much, but just super curious. The thing is, if he, if he or she keeps going to buy it, I can't remember if it's the mayor or not. But then uh, the tourists are going to stop going close, stop getting close. It's inevitable. Build-up, in fact, when they close for the morning inspection, it is going to be crazy. far more wary at this end than at the other end. Let's see what's happening inside. Uh, we haven't yet uh, heard anyone being shouted at in the yard. However, it's only a matter of time, folks. We all know that. Notice the trooper just glanced at his left uh, as the ladies put their heads over the chain. Nice light actually this morning, looking past the, uh, the lantern into the stable area. The camera's picking up the, uh, the lantern pretty well this morning. Notice the ground is still wet. Yep, three days folks, it rained pretty much here in London. I feel really sorry for anyone that had booked a holiday in the past week. Probably the worst time in the last three months to have been here. 
Okay, that's the bell ringing, which means... Hold on, is that the 11.30 bell? I can't believe it's time for the, uh, the gatesman to move again. Gosh, it is. Look at that. Already. It's like, whoa. No, I don't want the Spanish tour guide to tell them to move. This is the front, guys, this morning, uh, already. Bear in mind, we, we pretty much just started, didn't we? Look. It is rammed. Like, super crazy rammed, in fact. Group pictures, etc. Super, super, super madness. Once they close the gates for the morning inspection, things are going to get very fruity quickly. Radford is roughly halfway through his shift already. I did say he's super happy about that. Who's next? Yeah. Somebody brought along their dog to feed it to the horse, but he's not hungry, he's waiting for the right tourist. Get out of here. Oh, wait, I thought they were actually screaming at everybody to get out of the way. Hello, maybe go around, chap, no? I mean, they're actually expecting the tourists to get out of the way with kids and stuff, just so they can jog their silly running group through the middle here. I was waiting for him to run into me, guys. <laughs> I was not moving. Oh, wait, wait. Someone is reaching through. He's like, what time do you start giving away the food? Fruits this morning? Or just bread? Oh, perfect. Put my name on the list. Notice the purple theme, everyone. Why is it so super purpley today? Purple hats. Oh, he's a wizard. Look. Wait, hold on a second. He's got some sort of little flute or something. I think he's going to come on the... Uh play a tune. Wait, what on earth is this dancing? Hold on. Bro, I'm over here. Come this way. <laughs> Why is he doing this guy in the purple hat? He just realised it's an actual horse. It's not her hallucination, folks. It's not because of the acid that he took last night. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, get ready for it. Come on, bro. Play a tune. Pied Piper of Hamlin style. on a second it's got to be some sort of uh, street artist surely this is not normal either that folks I'm going to go over and ask him for the number of his dealer honestly pretty impressive stuff whatever substance he took last night lasted the whole night
<laughs> Goodness me. Even Radford's scared. Okay, that classic post-rave drink, Lucas A, we all love. Oh god, they're <laughs> fighting for space. <laughs> I hope that's his bike. Bro, bring it back. <laughs> it's up. Really extraordinary. I mean, what on earth? Welcome to Horse Guards, folks, on a Saturday. Yeah. Believe it, would you? <laughs> I still haven't heard any shouts in the yard. Unusual, but hey. Plenty of time. Oh, yeah, he's really nipping. In fact, the Ryan is super nippy. And guess what, people? It's just starting to rain. What a surprise. I think this might well be why a lot of people decided not to come out and film today. Yeah, the forecast was not for rain, but it started to rain again. Okay, bro is back. Welcome, bro. Now he's going to practice some Kung Fu on the horse. Either Kung Fu or Kung Hu, I'm not sure yet. Okay, Ryan, do your thing, come on. Need to show bro no. I've got an umbrella there, guys, worst way, so let's not panic yet. Did you pass me that umbrella? Did you pass me that? Yeah. You're very kind, thank you. Okay, I've got my umbrella. Bro is out of it, man. Like, what is going on? Okay, let's get my umbrella ready. Of a substance clearly hasn't worn off. Oh. Hold on, we've got some Morris dancing. Wait. Yep, umbrellas are starting to go up, everybody. Look. See what the loop is doing. Right, my umbrella's not up. Or is just the light slightly changed? We're now under the umbrella, watching Bro trying to hypnotize the horse. Oh, horse hypnotize him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got that orange lanyard on everybody so that he can uh, pretend that he works here. Look! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ryan is indeed a nipper. A cheeky little nipper. So I think we're going to call this guy Warren uh, because it's the closest male name to Karen. So Warren, folks, has done his duty here on Scott, so he's off. He's going to harass the, uh, the chintzman. Meanwhile... Wait, actually, he's actually going to harass the chintzman, I think. One second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's even making the police laugh, look. Ah, oh, good lord. <laughs> Police are laughing. It's like, what is this loop? Oh, goodness me. When you think you've seen it all there, everyone.
I'm more interested in the people running into the uh, archway, to be fair. It's raining quite heavily now. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Look. This is why I thought it was important to get out as early as possible this morning uh, and get some very clear footage. I mean, we got quite a lot, to be honest, even though uh, it's super early. In a minute, we're going to get people getting shied at for getting way too close to uh, the Chitsman. Look. This guy's quite entertaining, the guy with the bike, honestly. He's a bit of a loop, but he's a funny one. I'm sure he's harmless. You can tell some people uh, go past horse guards, they're buzzing. I don't know what it is they're buzzing on, but you can see. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Brilliant. I don't think, actually, that uh, if, it, if the rain continues like this, I don't think they'll have a full morning inspection. I think they'll skip it, I really do. It's much more likely than, uh, than dragging the horse and troopers out, out the back to sit there and get soaking wet for 10 minutes. Yeah, my money's on them pulling it. Especially if it starts to rain even more heavily than it is now. It's not... I have to say, it's not pouring, but the weather turned pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, damn, it was nice and sunny for one hour and then it goes like this. It's like, what? Yeah, you cursed it. It's only us anyway, no one else is here. No one, not, no one else here. Oh, uh, really? Uh, yesterday I thought to myself, you know what? <laughs> Let's see. The uh, the guy on the on the with the orange bike though, he's been here a long time. He's been super funny. Yeah, like really really funny. Hey, have a good day, chap. Oh, he's shy. <laughs> Doesn't want to be on camera. I mean, luckily we didn't film him at all this morning. Wait, wait. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Brilliant. Uh, they didn't go... I don't think they're going to be a morning inspection. I think... I mean, they're all lining up in there, but it's pouring down. It's pouring. Are they going to go for the inspection of this? Yeah, they have to be more than two. It depends, though. I mean, if it, if it rains any heavier than this, I think they're going to pull it. What time is it now? 10.30. It's 10... Wait. Get out already? 10.43. Ah, okay. 10.43. I don't know. I mean, let's see, they're starting to line up, but this is pretty bad for an inspection, isn't it? Let's see what happens, folks. We're really not sure. The horses are starting to line up. We've got four or five just inside. This is where you've got this huge number of people uh, crowding in front of the stable gates, uh, having probably no clue that shortly they're going to all have to move. It's crazy close, in fact, to, uh, to the Chitsman. Look. Okay, troopers telling everybody to get back behind the chains. Shitsman's definitely going to have had enough in a minute. They're all way too close. Look at this lot. I mean, they think there's some sort of waxwork museum. I think they need a new chain. Uh, one that's a metre further back from the existing chain. That is crazy. They're within touching distance of the sword. These people pushing on the chain. You have to wonder why. Yep, you chap, you have to wonder why. Okay, troopers are up on the horses, you can see. Uh, no helmets yet. The two at the front are helmetless for the moment. Everyone's going to have to get way out of the way in a second. I mean, if I sort of do a 360, folks, you can see, look, it's kind of chaotic. Everyone waiting and wondering what's going to happen next. All 
Okay, it depends on the terrain. Now, ideally, if it stops. Oh, spotting the officer. Have oh, we got the officer? I can't see if it's a captain or a lieutenant. Can't see the pips, unfortunately, his shoulders are at the same height as a cross beam on the gate. But it looks like they're getting ready, folks. They're going to get, get ready for that inspection. Damn, all that kit cleaning and so on. They need to get soaking wet. All right, let me move myself back. The tourist tunnel here, look. I'm back slowly, trying not to bash him with my umbrella. That way, when they do come out, I'll tell everybody to move. Hopefully, I will uh, not bash into anyone. Troopers will be thinking, no, not in this. Because they are going to get absolutely soaked. So is the kit, and then they're going to have to clean it all over again. Bearing in mind they just cleaned it this morning when, uh, when they came out. I think what we're going to do, smart option, uh, is go for a part two. That said, there's only going to be an actual part two if they have a full inspection and then come back to the front. So we'll see, folks. It's going to depend. If this video is labelled in the description, uh, part one of two, you know there will be a part two. If there's no labelling, part one of two, there will not be a part two. So for the moment, looking at the clock on this video, um, I'm out of here. It's fun already. Let's see what happens next. Bye for now, people.